Welcome everyone, I'm John and this is the crypto channel of John. <sighs> I'm very happy today, I got my news that uh, I'm gonna receive my new KS1 again. So I'm very happy to see this, that they are getting shipped. But I just looked at the Ice River website and uh, there's something promisable here. So if you, are if you bought these uh, KS0s or anything else, you can be very happy because they are getting sold out, I see. They are no more producing any ones, so they, if you have one, be happy because when the, they are sold out, that means that the price will go up <laughs> for the last shipments, of course, because they cannot reach any more new ones. The production, production is completely sealed and they will not produce any more for the meanwhile. I got this from um, somebody that I knew. <sighs> And it was very nice to see. The KS0 is still payable, but like you can see, if we take a look at the other ones, KS1, 600 watt is completely sold out. You cannot order them anymore. Uh, the KS2 is sold out. The KS3 is sold out. And the KSL, the 3L is also sold out. So that means that we are getting at the end of the terahash from this part. They do have some new features that you can uh, buy at this point. But that's for something else, of course. I must say, everybody that has, has bought one, um, congratulations, because you will be earning a nice amount of money, of course. Uh, and I do like that they have stopped producing them, because the hash power was going out of the roof, of course. Uh, my KS0 still make around 5 bucks a day at this pr price point, so that's still okay. I'm almost break even, so I'm quite happy for that one. Uh, the KS1 is uh, is now on the way, so I'm very happy for that news too. So that will make <laughs> make us a few extra passive incomes, and um, maybe let's take a look how much. Because the recent dip uh, from uh, everything is insane, I must say. So a KS1 at this point is about 100 mahash. I know this out of my head. So that still would make you in around $1,600 a month. So I find that quite nice. That's still a nice income. It is hugely dropped from the price where it was because, yeah, I must say a month ago, this was making about uh, seven, eight dollars, seven, eight to ten dollars. Uh, this eight thousand dollars. I mean, I mean, um, and now this is already on eleven petahash. So that means that we are getting hugely jumped. If you can see here, the 22, 23 August, we were still around 3 petahash. Now we are around 11 petahash, so that's 4x, almost 4x the time that we were. So that also that means that we have decreased in um, payments for about 4x the amount. So you will be earning around 40,000 cost pass if you had a KS1 getting onto it. If you have a KS0 that you can still order on Ice River, these don't take, they take around 70 watts. You can see that you will be earning an estimated 4,000 caspas a month, around $169 a month at this pace. Still, $169 a month for only paying $1,000, it's not even $1,000 anymore, it's around $700. So that means that you would get a Y around seven months. So that's still doable, I must say. Seven months is yeah, it's still cheap. Uh, I don't know. I do not know any um, miners yet that do this thing. So uh, this is quite nice to see that you can still ROI in only seven months. Even the smaller ROI, uh, mining systems now that are getting out of here um, released, they have at least an ROI of more than a year. So this is still very good. This is still promising, promisable, and I do like that they are getting sold out because that means that we are having very nice prices at this point. And it looks like I will be uh, that we will be making around the same amount for a certain period of, period of time. That means that the hash power and the strength of the network is great enough at this point that they can reduce or maybe just cause, ask them to reduce and stop creating them at this point because of the hash power that has increased so much. Um, also, the recent dip Let's take a look because um, we saw a nice one going uh, downwards and I already predicted this one. So I knew there was 
going to happen uh, yeah it's always the same so people never uh, understand how markets go markets always go up and down and one straight line up if you ever see that please get out of a coin as fast as possible it never happens it never does I've been in these markets long enough to know that you have to take profit every time over and over and over and over again never make love for a coin so the recent dip of Bitcoin was predicted for me I already saw this one happening I, I reached perfectly into here so this is even a day chart if you have no idea what charting is that's okay I'll explain very shortly let's take this one out <coughs> so I always look at fair value gaps if you do not know what a fair value gap is that's a gap between two candles and there is an open candle bar in between so that's what I look at for price uh, predictions and price regulations to come back to why do I do this because every single last tick or up and down is controlled by a computer okay you can look this up Anybody that sells, it sells and uh, buying pressure. It never has been that and it will never be that. That's what the 1% wants you to believe. It's not true. So do your research if you want to know exactly what it is. I'm quite sure it is like this and that's why I can predict where the market goes back to. It's impossible to predict the market if this was not colorated. It's impossible. You can even set your watch to it. So <laughs> if you really want to be a day trader, I know a very good guy that uh, can teach you the things that you need to be doing but first just read the candlestick bible that you know a bit about markets and how it goes and everything so that would be the best thing that you can do and afterwards uh, just leave a comment I'll show you which one it is it's a very good guy I learned this from him and I must say it's so accurate it's amazing to see how perfectly this works every time so it's never sell pressure or anything else everything every tick every part is controlled by the one the, the, the persons that want to control it so you just can run with them or you can try to run against them but if you run against big fans <laughs> um, it's not the smartest thing to do let me say it that way it's better just to make sure that you uh, run with them and this is a very nice time to enter the market even so if uh, we take a week chart look how beautiful this is look, we had an open candle bar here to here so we reached down we shut them off I would love to see this candle drop beneath here because why there are a lot of liquid prices here so people that put it to their stop losses here went for up and they wanted to go above this part now I just said before that we would only hit this part above so this was my stop of my ending part a bit lower really I made it like this so I went out the market here why this little bit that went up from 30,000 to 31,000 I did not believe that we were going up straight in one line Bitcoin never does this it's always the same and Bitcoin is still the main character just uh, ignore the rest of this in here because I do some trading with some people and this is in Flemish you can't read it anyway this is what the people predicted everybody predicted that we were going up I predicted that we were at least finishing off this candle because this was hugely and there was a, a very big gap also into it so that's what we did and afterwards we went down now this part now the next one that we could finish off is this one do remember this is a week so we entered this part now if we do not drop beneath this one here we will stay and go back up for sure we have to go up anyway but there is another part one here down here that still did not finish off so Bitcoin normally finishes off everything and we are still not in a bull market people no matter what people say or, or do or anything I'm quite good at charting I do not know why but I just have like an inside feeling for these things um, and my gut is always right and it's always telling me what to do with markets and how to being it so now 
if you can imagine that an ETF has been granted in America and everything else on Bitcoin and we are dropping <laughs> so if there is good news that means that we drop if there is bad news that means that we're going up it's very easy if you watch the media it's so simple to to predict where the market even is going with my eyes closed I can do this but you're always uh, a step behind if you follow the media because they are never in time you just have to follow your own plan I was happy with this I went in somewhere around here this was my entry I think around 17,000 first of all I thought we were going a bit lower but I entered around 17,000 I said okay this is a nice entry for me so to 30,000 I was almost a 50 100% X on Bitcoin people so so this was like 77% so that, w that was more than enough for me. You have to be happy with small things. Now, now we were talking about Casper, of course. So let me take a look at Casper and what we are doing at this point. Now, the biggest trend line of the week, we did not cross yet. So you can see him here. It's beautiful. We can still make a pullback to this candle. Why there is a candle here still that is opening. So we have a fair value gap right here. Anybody can see it? I'll zoom in a bit if you don't see what I mean. I'll take this one out so that you can see it better. I'll make it a different color maybe. So from here this candle point to this candle point we have an open gap. You can see this now perfectly. This part is an open gap because this candle did not touch this candle. So in here we have an undecided this is called a fair value gap so we need to enter this again to finish off this marketplace so that's why i was out of caspa around five cents and i started entering back down exactly on this line why uh, here um, because i wanted to enter <laughs> oh yeah i know um, if i zoom in in the daily you will see why i entered this part so i entered halfway here so i'm in profit again but I'm still counting that we could drop down even further. So I'm not completely entered again. So I will wait a bit more. If we go back to like four or five, if we enter above here somewhere, I will enter the rest of my coins. I will still be in profit for more than 10%. So that's, I'm fine with that. And the other one was in profit already now for about 30%. So. That will still be 40% more coins that I will have in the total. So I'm very happy with that. <laughs> yeah. If you know that Casper is going to at least around a dollar, I will be taking a lot of profits around 70, 80 cents. That's what I will be taking a lot of profits because everybody will tell you then it will go to five, six dollars and it will never do that. I'm sure of it. It's um, If it does, I'm very happy for the people that hold. I will be very blessful for them and that they have even more gainings than I did but I'm happy with 80 cents if you have around if you have enough cospos um, and you can count uh, let's take a look how much you need everybody wants to be a millionaire but don't exaggerate uh, m make a first 100k and I would be very happy of course so if you need if you have a hundred thousand coins and you uh, leave at 80 cents so you have that's impossible. Zero point eight. That means that you have eighty thousand. So that means that you need a little bit more to make at least a hundred thousand. So if you need a hundred thousand euros, if you want to make the first hundred thousand euros ever in your life, do it this way. It's not easy to go from a thousand to a hundred thousand. Okay, that's a hundred x. To go from a million, uh, from a hundred thousand to a million, that's only a ten x. So that's even <laughs> the ten lesser. So that's very easy to go even further. So do keep that one in mind because it's not easy to make your first million. It's very easy to go further after that one. Hundred thousand is not easy to make, but once you're done, it's it's easier to go to a million because you already have a bit of funds. So I. Uh, that's how it really is so that's how you then have to make sure that you can keep the funds that you have and just steadily grow <laughs> and steadily go grow more and more into it of course okay my mic uh, just dropped so that's why I was laughing of course um, 
Now, so if you want a hundred thousand to make, so that, that means that you need at least a hundred and twenty, a hundred and thirty thousand, I guess, of coins divided by zero point eight. Oh, I just did the same thing again, like the last part. So if you have a hundred thirty thousand coins, you will make at least a hundred and four thousand dollars. Be happy with that. That's a lot of money for the first. If you never made hundred thousand dollars that's a huge jump in your life forward make sure that you can do this and if the first time you make this the next step is easier yeah you can make then um, a sort of different income with this kind of money and make sure that you build up a business maybe and make sure that you have an in an extra income except of crypto that's how you can provide yourself from a passively income make buy some miners let, let the, that money work for you that's how it works. So do not spend that money on s not smart things. Make sure that you use it for um, an extra income. Don't spend it all on clothing and building uh, and on vehicles or anything that's not giving you any revenue. Make sure that, that that money makes you money so that you can grow your own wealth, of course. Now I do have to excuse myself on the Discord for the people that are in the Discord and that I have not been online. Um, I, will, I will be honest what happens I've um, normally on a very strict uh, eating schedule so I do not eat anything except of uh, vegetables um, and stuff that I really know where it comes from so it all has to be organic food it all has to be full food I never eat anything with sugar in inside of it normally I never eat anything for the last three years it has been like this and I can very good concentrate on what I want to be doing. Now, the, the, the not good thing was for myself, I have last week um, went to a pub and I drank two beers for the first time in a, quite a long time. And I must say that was the most not smart thing I have done for quite a while. Now, Monday ago, I did the same. I also drank twi two beers, no, Tuesday, sorry, and I was foggy all the time. I wanted to concentrate myself on making movies and everything else, and I just couldn't. I had some family time also, but uh, the main thing really was the sugar in my brain. The dopamine was so high at that point that I had not even had the chance to figure out how to do everything that I should be doing. Uh, so I really want to share this with all of you because I find this very important. If you are setting goals for yourself, please leave the dopamine sugar added stuff at the side. If you start just by eating organic food and making sure that you leave all the non good food for your body at the side so that you can only get dopamine when you finish something when you are doing the stuff that you really love to do then you will progress a lot faster and a lot easier and in a whole lot of less of time it's so easy to do and it's so easy not to do too now i was still talking about gospel so i rammed off a little bit but i found it very important because this came out of my head and i had to tell you guys now here was a perfect exit strategy also for Caspom. Now, first of all, you can see we have no fair value gap just here. We had one. This candle closed, but we dropped below it, so I did not like to see this. Let's take a look at the 12 hours that we have one here. No, we did not. Eight hours. Uh, maybe we had a small one this one touched this one did not okay so here we see here we had this very very small per value gap if you can see it I'm not sure this is the fair value gap that you had that you had it's a very small one so this could have been an entry point was would have been a beautiful one uh, why do I say this? Because they are always looking for liquidity and liquidity is where people put their stops and everything. So this is a programmed business. Everything has been programmed. 
also Caspa has been programmed. When it gets on the exchange, it's programmed. The exchange makes sure that it's programmed because they can do leverage onto it and that's how they make money of course. Now you can see this is Maxi that I follow at this point. There are a lot of drawings on here that we maybe... First of all, let's take a daily. Let's take a look where the first liquidity is now that he should have grabbed. Now first of all, people would have put stop losses here. If we drop, now there is a lot of stops here. Practical gainings would have been around this area. Now the next, if we drop further, the next stop of fair value gap is here. You can see it perfectly. Between this one and this candle there is a fair value gap. So this is the next point of interest and this is around 3 cents to 2.8 cents. This is where I'm now looking for the next entry or if it hits above these highs that would be a nice entry to, to go long again. These are my two main goals. Now first of all, I would maybe even enter only after it hits all them highs. Why? Because I'm already in profit, 30% gains. So I didn't even need to put all the money in that I took out to be in profit. This was on my Discord by the way that I sold it here. I, I've told it uh, a while ago. I, I apologize again people in the uh, <laughs> in the discord that I've not been online and that I have not been uh, very active because of the sugars I've ate it. So now you guys know why I have not been active because I was very foggy in my head. Now let's take a look where we are, are at indicating. Do I use sometimes, I do like to use sometimes the indicators and I will tell you why. They give you a small view from how the market will react. Look, we're still on a very high part. So if we saw the previous highs here, it went slowly down and went to a previous low before we went back up. Now it done perf perfectly the same thing again. So we went perfectly up. Now we are still dropping. You can see these lines are still dropping. So for me, if we would hit this part or even go lower to these parts, it's still possible. It's still a fair, small fair value gap here too. Like you can see, this is weak candles, people. So we could still end up around these areas. If we do, buy a lot. <laughs> because that will be the last time that we will see these entries. We could just make a spike just down here one time and go back up. But because of Caspa is very steady, that's why I do like this one. It's very steady and very slowly going up and down. So it's, it's very easy charts to trade with also. I do like them. So for me, this would be a perfect entry spot now because this is a main trend line. It's a daily, so it's a very strong resisting line. So people put their stops on resisting lines or put their entries or exits there. So that's why the mechanic part behind it will go to that part because they know that you put your stops there. <laughs> they do not go after your stops um, directly, but they know 90% of the people do this way. So that's why 90% of the people never make money by trading because they have no idea what they're doing in the background. I read so many books and I looked at so many charts and they all do the same thing. So I can do this on any charts really. Except if they are not on exchanges, then it's um, sometimes better for the coin itself because it's not 100% colorated to the to the people around it. So now this, like you can see, it went up, it went down. It perfectly tested here the car, the chart, and I really want to see why I put it there a green line now. Okay, here. Oh, this must be a high from somewhere. Ah, this was this high. So this was the perfectly top of the high that I wanted to see and it really touched it one more time before it dropped. So now we have two parts that it can do. It's now on the hour hourly only up. So it could come back down to this part and continue continues go up because there is still some liquidity up here. 
That could be one part that he could do. Or it can continuously go up. Now it's weekend, so I don't see it do it um, in one time upwards. So I, I see it come back now to this lower part. And then we will see what happens. If it stops before the candle is closed or before under this candle. So if it breaks 0 0.3592. Then we are definitely dropping down to these areas. If it does not break this area, we will definitely go back up. So these are the two main things. I have not looked at Caspa enough to 100% trade with it. So that's now the, the, the thing that you need to do if you want to learn how trading goes. You need to study these charts every day. You need to look at it every day. But I was really talking about um, the miners and I'm at this point already, I think, I'm already on 26 minutes, so I will be ending this movie <laughs> uh, because if they are too long, people never watch them anyway. So enjoy, be blessed, have a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing my channel. Thank you for leaving a thumbs up. That would be very grateful if you do this right now before this movie ends. And we all see you in the next one. Keep smiling, of course. Ciao.